Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, I know I've been away for quite a while, but that's because I was recovering from a surgery and I sort of lost my drive to do any more of these. But I'm going to get back into them now. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do I'm going to revisit uh, past belt reviews. Uh, when I first started, they were sort of uh, sort of bland. So. Now I'm more comfortable with showing my face. I'm going to uh, try and get a better, give you a better detail on the belts and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, I have uh, seven world championships, so please bear with me. Uh, and I'm going to start with the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. Lovely looking belt. Now, the ECW Championship was established in 92 uh, when Eastern Championship Wrestling was one of the last territories uh, going around back then uh, before Vince McMahon scooped them all up and uh, it was established, like I say, it was established in 92 and then uh, became its own entity uh, in 94 the first ECW champion recognised is uh, Jimmy S Superfly Snooker and you also have recognised champions like uh, the franchise Shane Douglas, uh, Raven, Taz, uh, Just Incredible, Tommy Dreamer and the last uh, official ECW World Heavyweight Champion from, e from Extreme Championship Wrestling before it folded in 2001 uh, is Rhino so there's the belt there so as you can see we have ECW up here World Heavyweight Wrest World Heavyweight Champion Heavyweight Wrestling Champion I do apologise uh, so that in my opinion, absolutely amazing design on this belt. Uh, I've always thought it says ECW. Uh, I never, I didn't, wasn't a huge fan when the WWF WWE brought it back in two thousand and six, and then they changed it for their own style. So they took away a lot of the gold around here and replaced it with black. Uh, and then you've got the monstrosity of the big silver phoenix belt. Uh, but yeah, the the belt design itself is pretty uh, mixed up in stuff. So they were trying to establish that ECW was an extreme because the belt is the belt itself has had about four. I think it was about three or four designs before they actually officially stopped on this belt, uh, on this belt design. And at the top you have ECW, you have World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, all done around bar wire, uh, blood and everything like that. I mean, on this specific design, uh, you even have uh, Taz put on this belt, this design of belt. Uh, when Taz had the ECW World Championship, he was one of the first people to engrave his name on the main plate, and so it's continued here. But also on the main main plate itself is it's got barbed wire, uh, baseball bats, uh, and uh, mesh, what uh, mesh wire, and you've got uh, a bloody. Uh, bar wire around which is meant to be the globe uh, but I love it I think it's absolutely cool uh, you go into the other side plates uh, you've got the writing which is meant to be blood red and you've got a globe here uh, similar to the main plate and you've got a base you've got a steel chair and bar wire baseball bats and you've got ECW here uh, and it's the same design on the other side. So, and the snap box on them is really thin. Uh, so it's not, 
it is the by five. Uh, but you, it's very, diff it's, they're not the most uh, wrapped around titles, let's put it this way. I uh, wear this like the big show would. Uh, and there is no extension for it either. So it goes happily over my shoulder if I'm out and about with it at events. So uh, it's fine, I'm perfectly happy carrying it like that. Uh, but yeah, this is one of my favorite designs. Uh, I, it's a shame that the WWF WWE wanted their own stamp of approval on it. Uh, and technically and officially by Extreme Championship Wrestling standards, this was retired in uh, 2001, but it was re-established when the WWF WWE wanted to bring back ECW as a third uh, brand. So uh, their first inaug their first champion in the WWF WWE era was uh, Rob Van Dam. So he was the first guy to re-establish and get this. Uh, and it went, it sort of catapulted other stars, likes of uh, the, the Big Show, uh, John Morrison, CM Punk, uh, Kane even had this as well. Uh, and Mark Henry, this was Mark Henry's first uh, official world title. Uh, Matt Hardy, uh, Christian had held it for the longest that it was established in the WWF WWE. Uh, the longest reign was actually by uh, Shane Douglas, who held it for over 400 days. Uh, but the last official WWF WWE champion was uh, Shane, uh, sorry, Ezekiel Jackson. So there's a name that nobody's probably heard for a long, long time. Uh, so he was the last ECW champion, but he was a theme he beat. Uh, Christian in the match and he was hit for like three five minutes and the belt was no longer in service so does it count? Not really. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, some would say it doesn't matter how long you have it for as long as you get it. Well I think it does but hey ho. But yeah so I would seriously recommend this design. Uh, there's two versions out there. There is this original design and there's the Phoenix, the Silver Phoenix design. Now I love this, this is my own personal preference for the ECW World Championship. Uh, but, you know, it's what it was everyday to their like, you know. Uh, some would like the original, some would like the silver one. Uh, but if you're an ECW fan, I would definitely be all for this belt. Uh, so, I hope you've liked this quick uh, little rundown of it. Uh, if you uh, have any questions or anything like that about the belt, uh, about ECW, uh, or if you're just a general wrestling fan, just uh, like subscribe, comment in the section below and let's get talking and have a nice day guys. Thank you.